Hello, welcome back. Right then, this is The Little Acre. I've never heard of this game before. I've never played it. I've been recommended it a few, fair few times from different people, so I decided I was going to give it a go. Um, yeah, I'm, I did start earlier. I played like five minutes of the game and then I had to turn it off because <coughs> of various issues, but I'm going to start again. I'm going to press new game and we'll get cracking. Interesting. Nice animation style. It kind of looks like the old uh, animated Disney movies so far. So I'm sensing some kind of... Uh, time travel aspect to this game then. I awoke to the sounds of Lily's gentle snores as they drifted across the bedroom loft. She was still fast asleep and I needed to keep it that way, or suffer the consequences. Creaky floorboards meant that the simple act of getting dressed will require a little ingenuity. Right, let's get cracking. So, um, yeah, like I said before, we d I did play this a little bit. I played up until going downstairs. <clears throat> so, I do have a rough idea of what we need to do here. Morning, Dougal. Yoink. Lily made a fish and marmalade sandwich for me the day before. Check, check, I didn't have to refuse, but I wasn't about to eat it. <laughs> Boots, check. Um, right, sandwich. Let's give some to Dougal. Couldn't do anything about the sweater while Lily was still pulling it. Right. He was gonna have to earn the other half of this disgusting sandwich. I got him to roll over earlier. I don't remember how. There you go. It freed my sweater from Lily's clutches, but I was still out of reach. Yep, I remember. That was my cue to sneak out of there. So far, so good. I decided I'd cycle to the nearby town. Maybe I'd find someone willing to hire me. Maybe I'd find someone who knew where my dad had gone. But first, I had a few things to take care of. Cooking utensils hung from the wall by the fire, for now at least. I'd recently made Lily a small wooden sword so she'd have something else to swing around. I picked up the jug. I'd need water to make Lily's breakfast. I think he relocated so he won't be responsible for waking Lily. 
You and me both, buddy. <coughs> Wait a minute, what's that on the... Mm. No other pickups then. Uh... Try to keep some things out of Lily's reach, but it never worked. Dad's compactable footstool seemed like a great idea. I wasn't sure why it hadn't taken off. Right, so in the side here we've got <clears throat> items or notes. Oh, that's good. That's interesting. It gives you hints as well. So, I needed to fill the jug with water. Right. Yeah, I don't need to mess about with settings. Okay. Um, photograph. Anything else to click on in here? The doors of the cupboard where we kept the dishes were tied closed. For all the good it did, I'm pretty sure Lily chewed through them last time. Okay. Locked. Anything else over here? Yep. I only ever saw the transmitter active on a few occasions. During those times, Dad would have kept the shed door locked tight. I see a water pump. Huh? No. There's a solid block of wood next to the pump. There's a solid block of wood next to the pump. Okay, so... So it doesn't give you any option to... Like various options with the same object then. Like in some point of clicks you get look at, pick up, you know. Doesn't seem to be giving me that option with this game so far. Um, why is it not letting me click on the pump? Hmm. Surely I have to use the pump. Yes, there you go. Something to collect the water first. Oh, of course you do. <laughs> yep. The pump handle had snapped, leaving only a small section of it protruding from the pump. It was going to take something heavy to force it down. No, don't want to go up. I wanted to go to the washing line. Clearly, I can't do that. The door was unlocked, but something was blocking on the other side. The receiver attached to the shed received something from the transmitter, which in turn rotated the wheels to move the belt along in order to... Uh, I had no idea. Sometimes I think Dad added contraptions to his contraptions just to throw me off. Just to throw me off. Dad converted the garden shed into his personal <clears throat> workshop when he decided he wanted to work for himself. He'd normally spend every waking hour in there, inventing, tinkering. But it had been days, and there was no sign of him. Right, have we got anything else we can click on? It doesn't appear to be down here. Um, nothing in the menu we can use. Can't use the stool to weigh down the handle. Um... Okay. Wonder if I can use the handle on this contraption at all. I don't think that would have helped. No. Right. Oh. Dad's idea to put the memorial stone by the wall. 
It was Anya's favorite place to have a picnic. So, is Anya, Anya dead then? I'm assuming so, right? If it's a memorial stone. Or was that Anya we saw at the beginning and she's just been time travelled somewhere else? My father had notions in terms of farming when he left his job. He never could leave signs behind. Do we have anything else we can click on over this side? It does not look like it. Right. It's a shame you can't run with uh, R2 in some of these point and click games. You can do that. Evidently not in this one. Taking into account Lily's willfulness, it was often easier to indulge her creativity than flat out ask her to do something. <clears throat> In this case, the gnome was a spy who informed me of when Lily wandered too far from the house. So, um... Okay. <sighs> Dear Aiden, aha! So he's called Aiden then. Thank you for your application for the position of repair clerk at Boyle and Sons. I appreciate your consideration, but regrettably have decided not to offer you a position at this time. While I have no doubt that someone with your military engineering experience would be capable of the role, I should think you would be well suited to a more demanding occupation, perhaps at the new hydroelectric dam with your father. I wish you every success in your future endeavours. Kindest regards, Vince McMahon. <laughs> Sean Boyle, owner and manager. Strange You've been future endeavoured. Independent Times says unemployment rates and emigration on the rise. Rumours abound regarding strange lights in the countryside. Hmm... Oh, it's a package from my father. Arthur, this is the last of the small crystals. I hope this was worth giving up your job for. I'm still finding the whole notion difficult to believe. I'm tempted to make a trip to your home to see it with my own eyes. But the fact that you keep the generator in your bedroom is quite unsettling, to say the least. If what you say about the lesser crystals is true, then I fear what may happen when this company begins experimenting on the large one. It's still safe for now, but I don't think it'll be possible to smuggle it out of here without anyone noticing. Given the apparent results of your own experiments, it's possible they'll listen to your warning. However, it's more likely they'll see nothing other than the potential for profit. For now, I'll do my best to impede their research. Stay safe, my friend. Nina. Nice. Nina sounds nice. The strange crystal was obviously important to my father. <clears throat> I couldn't help but wonder if I had anything to do with going missing. I decided to do a little snooping around. Okay, so we've got a crystal now. We still need something to weigh down the handle. Can I come this way? No. Looks like I'm going on the bike then. My trusty bicycle was my main method of transport and definitely didn't require any modifications. Despite what my father said. Now that I had a lead on my dad's whereabouts, I definitely couldn't leave. Alright, so I can't leave. Um, so, that's strange. So I need to get in, it looks like, I need to get into that shed then. Somehow. There's nothing around here to click on. Okay. Run faster. Hmm. Sir Fuzzlepuff here a while ago with strict instructions to report to her immediately if he saw her grandfather. Didn't really stop to think where my dad got the mask or why he wanted it. 
was pretty sure I could put it to good use, though. Of course we could. <clears throat> right. Dad left his jacket behind. Sometimes his work would make him forget the little things, like wearing a jacket outside. Or eating. <laughs> What's that button for? I don't want to press it yet. Let's... Dad made his own generator to power his workshop. As with his other inventions, he just refused to explain how it worked. It looked like there was something missing, but I hadn't figured out what. Water. Right, there's a funnel there, and you put water in it, and then press this button. Ooh. I've got an idea. The notes indicated that the water could be topped up via the funnel. I presume the machine wouldn't work without coolant. Let's try this in there. I don't think that would have helped. Well, I do. It's worth a try, right? Okay, let's press this button then. I had to admit, some of Dad's inventions really were inspired. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, so this is, seems to be the first puzzle of the game then. How do I turn the lights on? That's the question. Lily left her fuzzle puff here a while ago. I don't think that would have helped. Hmm. Nothing else to press, nothing else to touch. Doesn't appear so. Try to keep some things out of Lily's reach, but it never worked. Right, let's get that down then. Maybe I can use this to get that down. I don't think that would have helped. No. This is very strange. saw the transmitter active on a few occasions. During those times, Dad would have kept the shed door locked tight. Maybe we can jimmy the door open with this uh, water pump handle. Yes! Go on, lad. Right then. It looked like the pitchfork had fallen from its resting place. Good. The lights in the shed only came on when Dad's generator was running. Great. I hadn't figured out how it worked yet, though. It wasn't your average generator. Hmm. So, oh wait a minute. I couldn't see a thing. And the <clears> idea <throat> of walking around a room in the dark, where my father invented things? Made me nervous. Right. Okay. Pitchfork on the handle, then, maybe? I mean, it's not heavy, the but. Pitchfork wasn't heavy enough yeah, no, itself to make the handle budge. Hmm. Where am I going to get something heavy? Hmm. I 
I've had better ideas. <laughs> Put fifty pence in this cunt. If somebody put fifty pence in me, I'd be gone for a month. You fucking cunt. Fuck off and steal something, man. He's on one, lads. <laughs> confused this is difficult looks like it's going to be one of those just walk backwards and forwards try everything on everything uh, let's see if I can take the curtain do it oh no wait a minute yay I've had better ideas. I must be able to use something on the on the boxes though don't think I don't think that would have helped admit, some of dad's inventions really were inspired just press the button see it won't let me go for the boxes so that tells me whoops whoops I don't yeah neither do I buddy This is definitely, yeah. This is definitely a puzzle. And what are these? Oh no. only have five on or five no four the notes indicated that the water could be topped up via the funnel I right. presume the machine wouldn't work without coolant so we need to get the dad left his jacket behind sometimes we need to get the water then Hmm. If I went back up there, I'd wake Lily, and I did not want to do that. Okay. I'm stumped.
Hmm. Yes, lad. Yet another impressive feat of engineering. Use the hammer with the pump. Smack it. There you go. That was just absolute fluke, to be fair. Right, let's go back inside and put some water in the machine. See if we can figure this out. Something important was supposed to go in the slot. Gotta be the crystal, hasn't it? Let's see. Hmm, it fits. Huh? It's glowing. And that's on three pounds. The label on the right indicated the weight of the crystal. Okay. The notes indicated that the water could be topped up via the funnel. I presume the machine wouldn't work without coolant. The label on the right indicates the weight of the crystal. The label on the right indicated the weight of the crystal. Right, so we've got four omega and three pounds. So if we change them, to match, look. The whole wall was covered. <laughs> but what does that mean? I don't think that would have helped. Right, I don't know what that means, but there's four lights on here. So does that mean we do that? Aha, uh -huh, I know. I have to admit, some of Dad's inventions really were inspired. Boom. <laughs> there you go. Now we've got the pattern for these. So, three, two, one and two and two. Three, two, one and two and two. Wicked. Jobs are good and kiddos. We've Whatever got a connection. Did, it caused the machine in the back garden to power up. Let's get out of here. I got a trophy. So, oh, he's put the jug back. See, these puzzles in some of these games, I never look forward to them because they always seem like it's going to be a nightmare. And then it's just straightforward. <clears throat> right, let's turn the lights on now. Bang. Sure enough, the lights and whatever other equipment Dad constructed were receiving power. I wasn't sure if I was getting any closer to figuring out what happened to him, but it was the best lead I had. There was a hand-drawn map on the wall with two locations marked. Our house and the hydroelectric dam, where Dad used to work. Hmm. Looks like he's teleported back and forth to work instead of going on his bike. What's that? Oh! Nearly give me a bloody heart attack. You know what that calls for, don't you? I'll find a way to blame it on the dog. For oh, sake. The machine appeared to have opened by itself. There was a 50-50 chance that it was intended to respond to vibration or that it was simply as reliable as the stepladder. 
was one of the puzzle boxes my father often made for Lily. I wasn't sure why he hadn't given her this one, but I knew she'd be happy to have it. It's not for Lily. I'll find a way to blame it on him. There was a small keyhole in the back, but like many of Dad's devices, its purpose was far from obvious. The machine appeared to be waiting for... something. Get in it then. The machine appeared to be waiting for... something. Right, we don't have any key, do we? The machine has a key hole. I'll find a way. That's just uh, that. All I've got in here is a mask and a puzzle box. Don't want to use any hints yet. I had to wake the lily up, but I didn't want to take the blame for it. I wanted to give Lily the puzzle box I found, but she was still asleep. So wake her up. I wanted to give Lily the puzzle box I had found, but she was still asleep. Whenever possible, I tried to avoid taking the blame for waking Lily. Right. Lily's dress was hanging from the line. Take it down. For Cooking utensils hung from the wall by the fire. For now, I'd recently made Lily a small wooden sword. What about? Mm. Nah. Okay. Mm. Nah. Dougal, I think it's your turn to wake Lily up. Right, Lily. Lily was fearless, even with the way she got out of bed. Sorry you had to take the blame for that one, Dougal. Right, so Lily why was already did... out of bed. Sort of. Puzzle box. Uh, Lily, does when in doubt, dance it out mean anything to you? Ah, that's the dancing positions then. Right, so I'm going to have to tell her again and note down which moves she does. Lily was fearless. Try again, here we go. How did that dance go again? Why? Scary face. Wait, wait, let's try it one more time. How did that dance go again? secret dance routine turned out to be the solution for the combination lock. Yeah. Inside the box there was a small key where the tasty treat should have been. Great stuff. Right, we've got the key. Let's do it.
box about the right side. Hey! Oh no. Dad usually got everything ready for breakfast as soon as I woke up. Look, Dougal, everything's laid out already. I should just make it myself. It's porridge. What could go wrong? Big old bag of oats. Prepare to be eaten. Hey, wait a minute. It's empty. <gasps> Okay, I can fix this. All I need is a fresh bag of oats, a new bowl, and then to place a pot over the fire. Right then. So, we've got the oats, they're up there. Right then, I've got oats. What's that book that fell as well? Nothing. Okay. That breakfast wasn't going to prepare itself. Why didn't Granddad invent something like that? <laughs> uh oh. Good boy. This is easy peasy. What was Dad worried about? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That breakfast wasn't going to prepare itself. Why didn't Granddad invent something like that? Right, so what else do I need now? Use Dougal with... Dougal was pretty smart, but he didn't know how to put together a breakfast. Okay. Use Dougal with this cupboard door. Dougal, attack that string. Yeah. <gasps> right then, we've got the oats, the bowl, and the pot over the table. That's the one. Question should be when is dad? Okay. Can we do anything? For a moment, I wondered where I was. Then I noticed everything was different. I was different, but it was when I thought of Lily that it no longer mattered why. I couldn't let her think that she had lost someone else. Right then. 
somebody had left their belongings on the floor of the strange room. After glancing over the items, I realized some of them belonged to my dad. So, this is where you went. It was unusual to see dad without his hat, and vice versa. But then again, it was noticeably warmer than home. I decided mm. to take it with me. Right, we've got his hat. A glass jar had been left next to the other belongings, emitting a faint white light. Assuming unusual objects to be important seemed like a good rule Take of it. So I picked it up. Anything else? I want the pipe as well. Uh, right. Anything else to click in this room? There was a pair of niche panels on one of the walls, each containing an empty spherical socket. Spherical socket? Big enough for an orb, maybe? Hell yeah! Whatever the rightmost socket was supposed to do, it didn't seem to be able to do it while the lab was unpowered. Oh. So let's put this in the other one then. Placing the jar into the left socket had restored basic power to the lab. Right. There was a pair of niche panels on one of the walls. Each can. The lab had some power, but none of it was reaching the door release mechanism. So we've got a mask and a hat. Oh, it's timed. Whatever Ugh. the rightmost soccer was supposed to do, it didn't seem to be able to do it while the lab was unpowered. Right. Timed puzzle. Let's do this. Placing the jar into the left socket had restored basic power to the lab. Right, are we ready? Go. Oh, I've messed it up again. Right, so you get three beeps. There was a pair of niche panels on one of them. Yeah, yeah. Placing the jar into the left socket had restored basic power to the lab. Right, so let me move. Let's do it. Hey, hey, hey! There was just enough power to distribute to the door release. He's done it. It took a large amount of power to get me here. Logic dictated that it would take something similar to get me home. I was gonna have to venture outside to find it. And in the back of my mind, I hoped that I might find my father along the way. rope from the tractor. Every adventurer needs rope. Where did that spanner go though?
girls are good at saving people, but I never got a chance to save her. Dad had probably already checked the post. Hmm. Nobody ever sent us anything interesting anyway. I'd only just left the house, and there was work to do. Like what? I needed to keep the bone until there was a better time for bribery. Right. Leashes get in the way of adventure. Dougal did his best to keep me out of danger. It was so annoying. Ah. Granddad would have been proud of my giant slingshot. I needed to be sitting in the slingshot before waving the bone around. I wasn't strong enough to pull myself back. Dad says we're running out of money. He's doing his best to find a job. He's probably gone to town for that exact reason. So until then, we've got to do our best to help out. Hey, Breeze! You didn't pay for that! Good thing Wings can't ride bikes. Wait, if Dad's bike is still here, where's he been all morning? I had a bad feeling, and I was pretty sure it had nothing to do with the porridge. Yeah! With Gnome out of the way, I was free to start looking for Dad. He can't see me without his head. <laughs> Dad's bike was by the way, which meant he... I'd never run away from home. Besides, there was an adventure to be had. Right, let's do it. Lily's gonna go in the time machine and come out as an adult. That's my guess. Maybe not. I was being led down a path, and short of curling up into a ball, I was helpless to do anything about it. I considered going back inside and just waiting for someone to find me, but I knew that if I wanted to get back to Lily soon, I'd have to find the source of power for the machine that brought me here, and I wasn't coming back until I found it. It looked like the blue lamp also acted as a door release. Come on, 
Sir Fuzzlepuff. I'm on a new quest. Dime goes down. Ooh, shiny. I probably shouldn't touch it. Clump. Fit. Clump. Fit. Fira? Huh? I had everything I needed from the cupboard. Wait a minute. I can use the ladder again Google. now, that's weird. Do you think we should have a quick nap? No, no, you're right. Interesting. She's gonna go in the machine. That's weird. Good. As I wandered deeper into the swamp, I began to feel uneasy. From the gnarled and twisted branches of bizarre trees to the clamor of unrecognizable creatures filling the air, it was clear I was a long way from home. <laughs> 